folks, Scott here with the My Monthly Hero May 2019 kit. This is being called a Crafty Life is a Happy Life kit. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we get a pin, an enamel pin. Looks like it's celebrating the 45th anniversary of Hero Arts. Look at that. Black and gold. 45th anniversary of Hero Arts. Happy anniversary. How nice to get this lovely pin with my monthly hero kit this month. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see what else is in the box. We get two packages this month, and our stamp and die set is wrapped up with black and white baker's twine. Looks like a double piece of that, black and white baker's twine. So here's our stamp set this month. It's a big six by eight inch clear stamp set with all sorts of crafty supplies, almost everything you can possibly think of from sewing to knitting, to stitching, to painting, to stamping, to colored pencils, and a whole bunch of sentiments here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven sentiments again this month. We'll see if I can combine some of those together. A nice ball of yarn with knitting needles, a nice palette. There's one good pun here. You're so nice here with the sewing and needle and thread. Lots of coloring available with this stamp set. That's our 8x10 clear stamp set. And that is paired with all of our dies here. We get 20 frame cuts. So that's all of these that cut out most everything in our stamp set. From the paint palette to... The glue bottles, scissors, paint pan pin. Looks like a little bit of everything. 20 of those. And then we get two fancy dies. This big heart that's done up like a ball of yarn. This big knitting needle. This heart, I believe, is in two pieces. Yes, you've got the frame for that heart and the inside for that heart there. 20 dies and a couple of fancy dies. That's what we like these hero art kits for. And then in our bonus package this month, we get an ink cube. This is a clear embossing and watermark ink cube. My Monthly Hero Watermark Embossing Ink Cube. And this great purple sparkle embossing powder. Purple sparkle embossing powder. I don't think I have any embossing powder quite this dark purple. This looks like fun. We'll have to see what that looks like. We also get a roll of violet washi tape. This looks like plain, normal. And then last but not least, <laughs> we get <laughs> five mini clothespins. I tell you, I have never bought a mini clothespin on my own. But in my three short years as a subscriber to card kits and craft boxes, I have a huge box full of mini clothespins. <laughs> Stop sending me mini clothespins. I have enough to last forever, I think. <laughs> I've never bought any on my own. These have all come in kits. That's our A Crafty Life is a Happy Life kit from Hero Arts and My Monthly Hero. Let's see if I can come up with anything truly unique this month. <laughs> I think I'll have a great time coloring these stamps and creating some fun crafty cards. Let's see if A Crafty Life is really a happy life. <laughs> so here we go, folks. These are my 10 cards, all white card bases, one craft card base. You can see that I actually use that handmade with love stamp on the back of these cards. 
Now, I don't very often order extras with the My Monthly Hero Kit, just because I want to challenge myself to see if I can create 10 cards using just the supplies included in our kit. It's also cheaper. I am on a budget. And, you know, I get my boxes much faster when I don't add product to them. <laughs> but there was this one background stamp that was in the May release this month. It was called The Crafting Tools Bold Prints background stamp. A rubber stamp, really nice, had filled up with all sorts of crafting implements on it. I thought I might be able to create a pretty good facsimile of that just using the small stamps in our set. We've got so many little crafty stamps in this set. So that's what I did here. That's the first thing I did with this kit. I got out my Misty and I stuck all of my crafty stamps on the Misty door to make some kind of a background. I thought this came out really nice. It's not quite as full or busy as the background stamp is, but I think it provides us a perfectly good background for these crafty cards. So my first card, as you can see, we've got a Handmade with Love on the back. We're on a white card base. I colored one of those backgrounds. I used my Prismacolor colored pencils to color this. Really nice, it came out very nice. I didn't do a big bang up wow wow job of coloring, but I did get some nice shading in there, some nice colors in there. I really like this. I thought about coloring in the background, but decided to leave it white. I like the soft colorful features on this. I was going to add the sentiment to the front of this card, but I couldn't bear to cover any of this up. I thought it all worked so nicely and colored up so well, so I did add the sentiment to the inside of the card. Make stuff be happy. Now that is stamped on that lavender washi tape that we got with this kit. I used Stays On Jet Black ink to stamp that. It stayed on very nicely. That's really good ink for stamping on non-porous surfaces. And I just added that sentiment on the inside. Make stuff be happy. I really like that sentiment a lot. Make stuff doesn't necessarily mean you have to make crafts or cards. I mean, you could make dinner or you could make the bed, you could make peace, all of which makes me very happy. <laughs> all sorts of crafting supplies on the front of our card. Make stuff be happy. Again, the handmade with love on the back of the card. This is my first card, a fun, straightforward, nice background. Make stuff be happy. So for my second card, I still wanted to play with that background stamp. This is on another white card base. There you have Handmade with Love is stamped in the bottom on the back. And we get a lovely rainbow foil card that says craftiness is happiness. Look at the shine on that. I was really pleased with this. I did stamp my background arrangement on black cardstock. I stamped that with Versamark ink and embossed that with clear embossing powder. And then I used some of my rainbow deco foil and sent it through my laminating machine to foil all of those stamps. Came out really good. It's not perfect. I think I will need to experiment with this technique some more but I really like the shine and color of this card. Now, I really wanted to play with that purple sparkle embossing powder that came in our kit. So I die cut a little frame. I just used a couple of Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies to make this frame, covered it with Versamark ink, added the sparkle purple embossing powder and embossed that. Came out really nice. I thought it came out so well on that frame that we would try to use that on the sentiment. Now, I oftentimes don't have great success using sparkle embossing powders on a sentiment, but here it worked very, very well. Came out very good. It's totally readable. Craftiness is happiness and shine and glitter. <laughs> I did cut this sentiment out using one of my Lawn Fawn Everyday Sentiment Dies. And then I did take the heart die cut from our kit 
and I die cut a bunch of little hearts out of some scraps of foil paper I have. Little different colors of foil cardstock. I die cut a bunch of those hearts, added those to the front of this card, added some sequins, a couple of black star sequins, filled in this whole card. It's very sparkly, very pretty very rainbow <laughs> very colorful all on black i think this is great fun craftiness is happiness okay this made me pretty happy <laughs> nothing on the inside handmade with love on the back now i had one more technique i wanted to try with this background stamp before i took it off of my misty <laughs> i haven't ever done this before it's been around for a long time again on a white card base i've got the handmade with love stamped on the back and we get, thanks for being awesome. This is an ink resist stamping. I really like this. This is the first time I've ever done this ink resist. So I stamped my background arrangement on some pattern paper. I found some nice rainbow-ish pattern paper in my stash. I stamped and embossed that with clear embossing powder on that rainbow cardstock. And then I took my black soot distress ink and an ink blender and went to town, covered the whole thing with black, buffed off the extra ink that was on top of the embossing powder, and we've got that great emboss resist. Really nice. It looks really good. I think this came out better than the foil one, actually, and I like it a lot. I liked it so much. I did the sentiment the same way on that same colored cardstock, embossing the sentiment and then inking black soot over the top of it. Buff that embossing with a little cloth when you're done, and it shines like the day it was melted. <laughs> I did add a bunch of black sequins and little black hearts in and amongst the spaces on this card, but I thought this was really fun and I really enjoyed trying this technique. Thanks for being awesome. I think that's a pretty awesome card. Nothing on the inside, handmade with love on the back. Okay, that's enough with this background arrangement. I've got three different techniques using that background arrangement. But before I took it off of my Misty, I went ahead and stamped four panels. Made sure I have four panels handy for use the next time I need that background paper. <laughs> so for my next card, I was dying to use that fancy die. We got this big heart-shaped ball of yarn and knitting needles, the fancy dies from our kit this month. I was really looking forward to using those on a white card base. Again, handmade with love stamped in the back. We've got do what you love. And that ball of yarn is actually yarn. <laughs> This was a little fiddly. This was a little fussy. <laughs> but I knew I had some yarn in my stash. I found this yarn. This is from an old paper pumpkin kit. An old paper pumpkin kit where we were making tassels to go along with these little gift boxes. So I knew I had some of that in my stash. I grabbed that and die cut that heart of yarn from a nice thick piece of white cardstock. And then I covered all of the die cut with strips of yarn. Really nice. It took a little patience and a little perseverance to get all the yarn on top of all of the parts of the die cut. The last piece of yarn is the bottom horizontal strip here that goes all the way across and then it does the outline of the heart, comes up here and then goes over to our knitting needles at which point I just cast on the yarn onto a knitting needle as if I was going to start knitting. Now, I can't knit. <laughs> I'm not a knitter. I have tried it before in the past, and I always get a longer and longer and longer and longer and longer piece of yarn between my two knitting needles. Too much tension, too much anal retentiveness. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know how to cast on. It's just half hitches. I die cut these needles from a piece of scrap satin 
silver cardstock and then I cut them again from a piece of thick black cardstock and glued those together for nice sturdy knitting needles there. Now fortunately in the kit where this yarn came in we also got an ink cube from Stampin' Up which was Emerald Envy. And I used that ink cube to ink a little bit on the top and bottom edges of this card just to bring that green right down to our card base. That worked nicely. I did use my cheap O life-changing brushes for that ink blending. I stamped the Do What You Love in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I did emboss that with some clear embossing powder. So that's the only, there you go, you can see it. So that's the only real shine on this. I was gonna add some sequins. I didn't think this needed anything else. Do What You Love, obviously, Somebody loves knitting. <laughs> A really fun, unique way to use that ball of yarn dye. Nothing on the inside and handmade with love on the back. So after making this knitting card, I started thinking that maybe making little projects would be a good way to highlight some of the stamps in this set and create some like specifically themed cards, like a painting card and a card making card. And I thought that that would give me good ideas to create the next cards in my kit. Now what really inspired this card was we've got these some nice handwritten sentiments here and this pen happens to be right on top of this one. So I thought we should go to this card. You inspire me with a pen and ink. I'm writing you a letter. I've always liked cards or envelopes or letters on cards. It's kind of a meta feel for that. I had this little rose themed stationery in my image stash. So I printed that up, cut it down to size. I think this is two and a half by three and a quarter, something close to that. I stamped the sentiment on the top of that using onyx black ink. I matted that on a piece of shimmer black specialty cardstock. You can see the little shine there. And then matted that on a piece of white cardstock behind that, glued those all down to this craft card base. I stamped the pen and the ink on some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I colored those with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And I was trying to find a place to put them on this card, and I realized they really needed an anchor. They looked kind of odd floating around. So I cut a thin eighth inch strip of that black shimmer cardstock and added that across the bottom here, mounted my ink pot and my pen with some foam tape. These are the little confetti pieces from the Art Deco My Monthly Hero kit. I think that was February of this year. I was about done when I realized that this was a little plain and a little unexciting. So I printed up a couple more of these stationary sheets and cut the roses away from that. Fussy cut a couple of the roses out, added those to my rose down here to break the corners of the stationery. A little whimsy here on the front of the card, a nice little arrangement down at the bottom. You inspire me. Hi there, which is obviously the beginning of a long soul searching missive that I am writing to you. <laughs> You inspire me all about calligraphy, all about writing, all about stationery and ink. <laughs> and I do like that sentiment. So for my next little project here, of course, we got a card stamp and an envelope stamp in this kit. So let's make a card card <laughs> on a white card base. Again, Handmade with Love is on the back. We've got Sending Crafty Hugs with that card stamp and that envelope stamp. I stamped those both again on Bristol Smooth cardstock, colored those with my Zig Clean Color markers, die cut those out. There's not a die for the envelope, but it's really easy to fussy cut that out. I stamped the sentiment on a piece of white cardstock and then cut that out with my Gina K oval dies. I've got the large and small ovals here. When you use to the two sets together, you can get a nice mat behind that double stitched white oval. 
really worked out very nicely. I glued the two mats together, mounted the card and the envelope with some foam tape, glued those down to the front of my white card base. And you can see we've got some X's and O's here on a scrap of white glitter cardstock. I die cut a bunch of X's and O's. I cut a bunch of those out of that glitter cardstock. At first I was going to do just O's because O's are hugs, but without the X's, the O's just look like ooh. <laughs> so I added some X's in there so that they made the O's make sense as far as hugs and kisses. Sending crafty hugs, I can't leave the X's alone. So we added and kisses on the inside. <laughs> this is just printed up using the blackjack font and then cut with a small stitched rectangle die from Lawn Fawn and kisses. I think that's a pretty good match for the font that's used in this set. Really cute, sending crafty hugs, a little bitty heart piece of glitter on the card and a little bit of Hero Arts clear lacquer pen on the heart there. That gives us a little bit of shine, a little bit of dimension, a little bit more sparkle on our card card. <laughs> Sending crafty hugs and kisses. And of course this is handmade with love. So moving along, card number seven, we've got, if you notice on these background arrangements that I made. I didn't use any of the big, big stamps in the kit. I didn't use the artist palette. I didn't use the card or the envelope. And I didn't use the big ball of yarn with the needles. I used everything else, all of the smaller images, but thought those were a little large and kind of took some focus away from the others. So let's paint something on this next card on another white card base. Stamped on the back, we get you make this world a beautiful place. Now, if I'm having a hard time coming up with ideas for cards, I do find it is often quite valuable to take the sentiments literally. <laughs> so you've got, make this world a beautiful place. Yes, you make this world a beautiful place. <laughs> And that little globe is, again, an image that I had in my image stash. I printed that on a piece of watercolor cardstock and used my Zig markers to color that all in. I stamped the palette and the brushes, and this is actually the bottom half of the glue pot. That is the glue pot right here. I just masked off the top of that and stamped it, drew my own little rim on that pot. I die cut one of the hearts from the kit and glued it over that centerpiece there. So that's actually covering up the word glue. Cut a little slit in that and slid my brushes in there. Those are all stamped on Bristol Smooth cardstock and colored with my Zig Clean Color markers. I stamped the sentiment using Onyx Black ink right on the front of my white card base. I did cut a piece of black cardstock. This is three inches by four inches and took my white gouache paint and flicked some stars on that just for a quick nighttime midnight sky to go behind our earth there. Mounted the earth up with some foam tape after I had fussy cut it out. I actually did spritz that earth with a little bit of Sukuniko sheer shimmer spritz. I don't know if you can see that sparkle there. And then I took my Spectrum Noir shimmer pen and colored all the paint on the palette and the little heart that's on our paint pot. You make this world a beautiful place. <laughs> There's a literal card. <laughs> Nothing on the inside, but of course handmade with love on the back. Okay, now we've knitted something and we've written something and we've made a card and we've painted. Let's do some sewing. Now I've done some hand sewing on cards over the last couple of years, but I've never used my sewing machine on a card. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to see if I could create a nice little frame or something using my sewing machine on a card. So again, on a white card base, I've got handmade with love stamped on the back. I guess you can't not see that. <laughs> and we've got 
You're So Nice. A really good pun, a nice pun sentiment that was included with this kit. And we've got some actual sewing machine zigzag stitch making our frame around that center focal piece. Now I arranged all these sewing stamps and sentiment on some Bristol Smooth cardstock, stamped them those with onyx black ink, colored them with my Zig Clean Color markers, and then cut those out with one of my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. Now I took another card panel, a whole card front, and I set my die right in the middle and I traced the inside line of this die and used that as a guide for my pressure foot on my sewing machine to get this zigzag frame going on. <laughs> I have to admit, I had to practice a couple of times. I think this was my third or fourth attempt where I finally got it just right. I did find out that the thicker the cardstock, the better your sewing will be on that cardstock. I was very pleased with how that zigzag frame came out. All in red, I did go digging through my pattern paper stash and and the last crafty card kit I got was the, I believe it was February of 2018. And I got the Simon Says Stamp a Colorful Crafty Life card kit. And they had some pattern paper in there from Echo Park. This is the Echo Park I'd Rather Be Crafting pattern paper pad. This is the 6x6 six six pad. That was the pattern paper included in the kit. I cut all those red measuring tapes away from that pattern paper, glued those down to my card base around the edges. Then I cut my sewing panel with a stitched rectangle die. It's a sewing card. You have to use a stitched rectangle die. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut that with another Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, added that to my card front with some foam tape, added the final piece on top of that with yet some more foam tape. I did take my Sakura Stardust glitter pen and I colored up that needle and the safety pin and the tops of the straight pins with that glitter. That's all the sparkle we needed here. You're so nice. A great little pun. A fun little themed card. Now we've sewn as well. <laughs> so I mentioned in my unboxing that I have somehow <laughs> uh, uh, gathered a huge amount of mini clothespins. Of course, this kit gave us five mini clothespins. I was determined to figure out something to do with these clothespins, if not just the five that were included in this kit but maybe I could use some more from my stash. <laughs> so going along with the whole project idea on a white card base, stamped handmade with love, we get a crafty life is a happy life with a little mini clock that we put together using taken apart clothespins. <laughs> Oh, uh, this tickles me to no end. I love this little clock. So I took 18 clothespins apart and colored one side of them with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, glued them all together in a circular shape here. I covered their center with a black die cut, a little silver die cut, and then made the hands out of the ends of the knitting needle die. Again, out of that same satin finish silver cardstock. Those are just the ends of the knitting needle die. A little punch with that same silver cardstock for my 12, 6, 3, and 9 spots on that clock. There we've got a little project we've made using markers and glue. <laughs> for my little countertop here, I did use a couple coffee stirrers. I figured we were using wood pieces up here. Let's bring the wood down here too. A couple of pieces of coffee stirrers for our counter here. I stamped all of the markers in the glue bottle with onyx black ink, colored those with my Zig markers, and then fussy cut them out. I didn't use the dies on them. I wanted to stack all of these markers together in a little pyramid pile, put the glue behind them. I did add one complete clothespin on the side here just to remind us that that's what this little clock is made from. I had a few of those die cut hearts 
left over from this card here. So I added some of those mirror foil hearts to the front of this card, stamped the sentiment in onyx black ink. A crafty life is a happy life. Yes, this little mini clock made me very, very happy. And it actually used up a good amount of my <laughs> mini clothespin stash. This is no longer packed full. <laughs> a crafty life is a happy life. This made me very happy. Nothing on the inside. <laughs> and of course, handmade with love on the back. Okay, now we have used every sentiment in this stamp set with the addition of the hi there on the inside of this card and the handmade with love on the backs of all of these cards. We have covered all 11 sentiments in this stamp set. So this last card, I have free reign. I couldn't help myself. This is such an obvious pun that it actually appears in the extra knitting stamp set that was released with this kit on a white card base, handmade with love, we get Knit Happens. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, Knit Happens. <laughs> oh, I like this so much. And this gave me the chance to use those balls of yarn with the knitting needles through them. Now, I did find a piece of this great blue shimmer cardstock. I really like this dark blue glimmer cardstock. And I had a knitting pattern embossing folder in my stash. I knew this was in my stash. I think this was from a Love From Lizzie October of 18 card kit. A really nice knitted pattern embossing folder here. I took some of that blue specialty cardstock and embossed that with that knitting embossing folder. Really nice, that nice thick specialty cardstock takes that embossing really nice. You can see the pattern there. This is two inches wide by five and an eighth. This is one eighth inch wide by five and an eighth. I glued those down directly to my card front. And of course I stamped both of the balls of yarn with VersaFine Onyx Black ink, colored those with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, added those to the card front with foam tape, I, of course, printed this sentiment on the card front using the typewriter hand font. I used my Silhouette software to create this, sent this through my printer with the card piggybacking on top to get that knit happens printed just in the right place. I'll have links to these fonts on my website at cardcutups.com. Knit Happens. I did take a few of my mini pewter brads and I cut off their legs and glued them down. They fit on top of the knitting needle ends just perfectly. Added a few more on the card. That's all the more sparkle or shine this card needed. Yep, Knit Happens. <laughs> I like the simplicity of this card. The blue and the orange go well together. And of course, this is handmade with love. <laughs> so that's my 10 cards with the My Monthly Hero May 2019 card kit. A crafty life is a happy life. I think these are great fun. I really love this little background I was able to come up with. I was able to practice a couple of techniques I hadn't used before. I thought this was a marvelous fun way to use that ball of yarn die. I really like the idea of making little projects with these stamps and dies and using those as the basis for our cards this month. I had a really great time with this kit. I really love this stamp set. Some great images and a few terrific sentiments in that. That ball of yarn is a terrific die cut. Great to have in my stash. I had a blast making these cards. I would have to agree with Hero Arts that a crafty life is a happy life. And of course, I want to wish them a happy 45th anniversary. I love getting that little pin. 
This kit is still available at Hero Arts. If I've managed to spark an idea or two and you'd like to join in on the fun, please use my link down below whenever you go shopping at Hero Arts. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me, folks. I appreciate it so much. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Please hit the notify bell so you'll be notified when I post a video. Please like this video. It makes a big difference as far as YouTube is concerned. <laughs> and always like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't run with knitting needles. <laughs> and as always, happy crafting. If you'd like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.